the OBD2 port on a Smart 2 is underneath the driver's steering wheel and has a protective cover. Okay, so I'm using the iCarsoft CR Max. Plug that into the OBD port, turn the ignition on, and then power on the iCarsoft. Go into the diagnostics, select the car model, which in this instance is a Smart for 2. It diagnoses the particular VIN, but you have to select the car model. This is a petrol 1 litre MHD. Select Auto Scan. It pulls up the modules with a fault. What I tend to do is look at the faults, make a note, do a quick erase and then run again. So the fault code is the right rear wheel sensor. I'll save that. So what I'll do is I'll run a, a test on that uh, particular fault. So look at the ABS module. Select the control module. wheel speed sensors so what I've done is jack the car up um, and I'll spin the wheel the right hand rear and see, oh, there you go it's reading So if we've seen, I can actually see that that rear right wheel sensor is detecting movement. Um, I'll just run through some of the different views that you can actually get on this to, uh, to show the wheel sensors. You can get a dial, um, a slide and a graph as well. I'll briefly show you that. And you can record um, the diagnosis results. So what I did was remove it with an E8 Torx and a 10mm socket. Um, it turned out that there was actually some debris on the sensor 
look like some steel filings or magnetic filings uh, so I wiped that clean put it back on uh, tested it again and it does appear to be working I'm just putting some quick screenshots on here where the underbody on the near side for actually changing the wheel sensor so you can actually unplug it reroute the cable and put a new sensor in if needed So should this fault come back again, I'll be looking at getting a new ABS sensor and possibly a new reluctor ring. Okay, so the fault come back with the ABS sensor. So what I've done is took the wheel off again and had a look. And sure enough, I don't know if you can see that. The reluctor ring has split. So I'll have to change that. There we go, that's better for you. Just there. So you undo the shocker bolt, which is there after removing the plastic cap. Undo that bolt there, support it with an axle stand and then lower it down on a supported jack, which is in the middle, the main uh, suspension support. And then push it right in and pull it out and there you can see the damage will look to ring. So that's a new ABS ring, um, comparing the two, there's the split, there's the two, I think this one's slightly thicker. But the uh, everything else looks to be identical. You also get some ring retainer uh, that you put onto the actual uh, ABS ring. So clean up the actual uh, drive shaft where the retainer ring goes on, and uh, I'll just tap that on evenly as I do it. This is the suspension of a Smart for two. So to remove the uh, drive shaft, I had to undo the wheel hub centre bolt. You don't need to touch the brakes or anything like that. Just take the centre bolt out after you remove the wheel. Uh, the plastic cap, which covers the rear shock absorber uh, bottom bolt, and then there's the X frame, which bolts onto either side. Um, I undid that, and that should give you enough room to pull the drive shaft out. If you're struggling then what you can do is uh, loosen the other side and also the top bolts that go to the uh, main frame here and that will give you room to access to get the drive shaft out.